All right, so as we said, we're gonna go ahead and with our start our grape recipe. So we are running, uh, we currently have a grape recipe selected and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our batch. So we're gonna start the batch. So we've indicated now that we've requested to start the batch. As you see, the batch status has started. We have lost our ability to change recipes now. So now we're actually running Right, so we can actually stop this if you want to. Stop the batch and see the, the controls work perfectly. Now we're gonna continue, we're gonna start the batch back and we're gonna continue running. So now we can actually close these batch, uh, you know, actually batch controls and watch the batch run. Now, as you noticed, we are running the current batch, right? And the, the current batch is running up to 300 pounds. So it's gonna run up the master batch. It's gonna pull in 300 pounds of the master batch, right? It's gonna do that. Now we haven't had any controls or anything like that. I just wanted to show you the simulation and the way things work currently, because again, when it comes down to it, you know, the, the more you see things, the more you see things running, the more you see things working and fluently operating, the better it is, right? So uh, just to kind of show you and talk about the way things are, Again, our simulation is, is currently running right now. Let's talk about the controls a little bit. Now, again, uh, this coming in showing the tank, uh, let's see, this showing the tank flowing up right now. But again, that's also showing that the premix section is running. So this is the premix section running currently, and it's gonna run up to the set amount of the batch, which is 300 pounds, right? So as soon as it's 300 pounds, it's going to say that the master batch is added. Then it will go down to the very next section and add the uh, corn syrup. And as it adds the corn syrup, then it's gonna go ahead and add the actual, um, you know, the caffeine that's added for that, and this is 30, right? So we're looking for values right now of 300 and uh, 130 and then 30. So if we go back here, and we pull up a notepad. Let's just pull up a notepad so you can kind of see what the values are, right? <clears throat> so we're looking for the master batch. And I'll just kind of get this out of the way, but the master batch is going to be 300 pounds. And then it's gonna stop. It's gonna switch over to the, the uh, syrup, the corn syrup, right? So we're gonna go ahead, corn syrup is going to be 300 or 130 pounds. And then we're gonna get the caffeine. And the caffeine is, I spell caffeine wrong. Caffeine is gonna be 30 pounds. And then we're going to mix for 10 minutes. So mix for 10 minutes. So just to kind of show you that now we've have we actually added our uh, master batch, right? So it's stopped perfectly at 300 pounds. Everything's adding up properly. And things doing its job. So we've currently just to kind of show you this again. I have the the set points here. So this is actually done. So really, we're doing system testing right now as well, right? So not only am I showing you, you know, how things are going, but I'm actually, you know actually doing true system testing right so testing uh doing your due diligence and actually doing the testing behind what you've programmed is a hundred percent what you should be doing right uh making sure it's user friendly making sure that the processes are working making sure that that things are operating fluently again we we still have to come in and add our controls right our our not our controls when i say that i mean like for alarming um, and test our alarming, do all kind of stuff with that. I mean, so we still have a ways to go, but we have can't. We've we've come a whole long, like a, a tremendous amount. You know, we've we've actually went through and, and built this all this from from scratch, really. So, and I think we did a pretty pretty decent job so far. So, uh, when it comes down to it, um, now we're going to it's added our corn syrup right now. So it's uh, this is done. Okay, this is done. So now it's adding, if you look up here on the very top left-hand corner, it's adding our caffeine, which our caffeine is 30 pounds. Okay, it's added our caffeine. And it looks like we need to fix our mixing times right here. 
Uh, let's see, done. <clears throat> Looks like we need to fix this screen right here. So let's see if we can go and we're currently mixing and we're currently counting down times, but this so shows seconds. So what I want to do is actually come over here and fix that so it doesn't show seconds. So let's go back to our screen and let's break down and see why that it's showing seconds. So we're looking at batch active. So it, it is currently seconds left is greater than or is less than 60. Uh, and I believe we should say greater than 60 and yes so let's fix that so we're gonna say greater than 60 and uh, let's see and, and let's, let's get this down here so let and less than and we'll say greater than 60 and then the minutes should be Let's fix this. So this should be the minutes. Uh, this should be. Let's look at this. This mixing time. Mixing time remaining. And this should be mixing time remaining. And that should be uh, the relationship. So this should be greater than or let's just say less than. <clears throat> so that's less than 60 and this would be less than 1. And then we'll do an and. So let's check that. Make sure that's right. Make sure that populates correctly. And it does. So we'll put that back right here. So all we're doing is saying the syntax on that is we're saying that everything just lines up pro properly right so let's refresh the screen let's get back on that so now we have seven minutes of mixing time so if you remember we recreated one for minutes and one for seconds so, so what was happening is the actual batch was uh was indicating this is part of testing right this is part of going through testing and filling it out so you can kind of see that I'm not just doing this stuff and perfecting it before I show you. I'm actually building it, we're going through, we're troubleshooting it, we're fixing it as we go right in front of you so that you get the best from it. Now, to save you some time, I'm not gonna sit here and talk for the next six minutes, so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait till this actually, we're gonna spin this down, I'm gonna, slow the, I'm gonna speed this video up and we're gonna come back in uh, five minutes and we're gonna watch the last minute transpire and then we're going to go ahead and watch this go ahead transfer over to the finished product tank. All right, so as you see, we're getting back into the last minute now. So the, the minute before, it shows a minute left, and now it's getting into the seconds left in the last minute. So if we break down and look at the logic on that behind that right now, you can actually see that. So let's go to mixing, and we'll go to the mixing section, and now we're using the seconds, right? So now we're using this logic over here, which has 34, 33, 32, and it um, you can actually see that the batch is active. We've added our caffeine. We've added the corn syrup. We've add, and added the master batch. Now we're waiting for the batch tank or the batch mixing time to finish, right? And then we're down to our last 16, 15 seconds. So we've currently added everything up and we've currently mixed everything and, and it's going to our last you know, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and then we should stop it should indicate that the drive is stopped as soon as the drive stops it will go in now it would turn off the animation now we should be in a set time this will be our subtle time now we can have a pop-up if we want to if we deem to have a subtle time in this but in this state if we look at the batch controls we are still active so 
this and and this is a point where you could have uh, an indicator or something of that nature to say, okay, well, the batch is in you know this state, the settle time right now. Um, but if you were to actually look at it and think of, so right now if we went to logic, would come down here and we have uh, right at a minute of settle time. So and then it will come down and start the finished product tank, and this will start up the finished product batch complete. So as we get to that point, then it will turn on AV06, it will turn on AV07, and then start the pump. So at this point, <clears throat> we'll come over and see that. Now it's starting, so it's starting all that. Now we're actually dispersing and fluid is transferring over from the mi uh, product mixing tank to the actual product finish tank. So you can see the amount in here is actually the amount the amount that's leaving here uh, with the mixing tank is actually going into the actual product tank so that's actually indicating you know the the proper simulation and probably pro uh, proper emulation of what we're doing right so with all that said <clears throat> we can actually you know go through and if we want to see we can add you know controls in here to stop this but uh, at that point we haven't actually add controls to stop this section yet um, even though this batch because the batch is not actually active now so what the batch is doing is we could put in controls to stop the the back half to say okay we don't we no longer want to uh, you know control the the you know are we we, we want to for some reason there was an interruption and we want to stop the uh, transfer from from the finished product tank or to from the uh, finished mixing to the finished product right so we if Currently, we don't have anything like that, right? But we want to add it. That would be a good thing for safety-wise to, to come back and add. So this is part of simulation, part of emulation, part of you know doing different things, right? But in this token right here, um, you know, as far as the batch, the batch is currently complete. We have actually completed a grape batch, so we can actually come in here and change this batch to another batch if we want to right now and then come back and do that so you can easily see we've we added the proper amounts the 300 the uh, 30 pounds of caffeine and the 130 of syrup now we mixed at the mixing speed of 50 and the pump speeds right here so we did the mixing time of 10 minutes and that come in and did all of that so now we have 220 pounds over here we have so we're still transferring and as soon as that finishes right so as soon as this comes in and finishes it should indicate that it's done and shut everything off so as far as it's done as far as this goes right here we'll, uh, the tank tolerance will come over here and that should shut everything off so if we follow that back and our tank tolerance goes right here and it's no longer greater than zero then we'll turn that off so if that's the seal in type of situation that we talked about in the previous video and that's kind of what we were, were wanting to see i wanted to kind of this is the reason behind doing the the whole simulation video is to show you the way the process works right and and not only that just to test it out right to test the process out and show you how it works so while we're waiting on this to finish let's go ahead and change to a different grade we'll change to our different uh soda for that matter we can type it in or we could you know indicate it right here so let's go orange <clears throat> and then we'll put that in there and we'll download that and now we have orange as our next grade so um if we wanted to we could actually start another grade which is if it's in transfer what we should do is not have it have the ability to start like right here we could have another indicator that said you couldn't start because currently we can start so officially we can say if the batch is transferring so let's look at that let's go in here to the batch controls and we'll say actually let's finish product if the finished product is actually active so the flow meter reset if the finished products active which we can say the pump request is on or we can say the pump is actually actually running it's probably a better atmosphere the pump is actually running so let's look at that if the pump is running 
then we do not want to allow another batch to start, right? So let's come in here and let's put that in here so that we cannot do that. So if this is running, we will not give the ability to start another batch. And what we can do to even further that is actually hinder these controls from actually running. So we could actually say, okay, well, if this pump is running, we want to like disable that. So let's actually do that as well. I think that's a better atmosphere. I think if we came in here and we were to come in and on the, the controls are here, we say this wasn't even the ability to actually see it. And I think that's that's a really good thing. If it's invisible while the actual uh, pump three is running, so if the pump three is actually running, we want to have this invisible, right? So now this will be invisible at that atmosphere. So we have two things protecting us. We have one, the operator can't turn it on, right? So the operator, this if pump three is running, and I'll, let's just test that real quick. Let's turn on pump three, but we, we have to have these two on to do that. So we have to have this on and this on to turn on this because we can't cavitate a pump um, for that matter. Um, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and cut these on. Turn that on, turn this on, and turn the pump on and see if that disappears. So that did not disappear. Let's see why. Oh, because the, the pump did not stay on. And the pump cuts off because of the the actual weight of the tank. So we are doing the correct things on our actual controls, but let's just automatically test this stuff, right? So let's actually come in and automatically test this stuff because we didn't, it's not a fair test to say, okay, well, we know we still have some, some things to grow on and some things to change and some things to fix, but it was all fair and fair game. It was a really, really good simulation for the first go round, right? To show you, you know, how things working in again coming in we still have a negative value in here because again we should not be pulling out of this tank if the tank is empty um, and the controls automatic controls did shut that off but again we still have to add our our faults we still have to add, add in our other elements so all all fair game but again when it comes down to it uh, I think we did a good you know solid implementation of the the actual simulation so far so what we'll do is we'll come back we'll make a few more of these changes but what I would like to do is go ahead and start adding some faults and start building upon what we've built so we have some alarms now so we can stop some of this other stuff from happening because the best thing to do to actually stop something from happening like this tank going negative is to add faults right is to add different things so and and pump controls and stuff of that nature and start uh, like batch controls will all fall into the same spectrum so with all that said uh, hopefully you appreciate it and got a lot out of that video and seen everything kind of come together as everything we've been building upon throughout this whole project and uh, again we're not done but we're going to we're continuously progressing and getting better so but with all that said we'll see you guys on the next one